हे गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम योर होस्ट निशान कृष्णा होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एज यू ऑल नो आई एम इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स सो आई एम राइट नाउ इन न्यू जर्सी टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग द डे विद अ ट्रिप टू न्यू यॉर्क इफ यू हैवन सीन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑफ मी एक्सप्लोरिंग न्यू यॉर्क दैन प्लीज़ डू वॉच इट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द रेस्ट ऑफ द सिटी इन न्यू यॉर्क सो टाइम इज राइट नाउ एट थर्टी ए एम आई एम इन न्यू जर्सी एंड वी विल गो टू द प्रिंसटन स्टेशन टू बोर्ड द एन जे ट्रांसफर ट्रेन टूवर्ड्स न्यू यॉर्क सो off to princeton station so guys here we are at the princeton uh, railway station so uh, we will take the ng transit train now ng transit is a transportation system which kind of connects three states right it's philadelphia new jersey and new york so what we'll do is we will take a train from here from princeton this will take us directly to the new york city so we will uh, get down at the new york penn station and from there we will take a metro or what is called as subway in new york and then go to rest of the parts right so that's the plan now let me go inside and get the tickets and then off we go to new york I boarded the NJ Transit train to New York Penn Station. And that's the interior look of the NJ Transit train. I had booked a round trip which costed me around $30. The travel time from Princeton to New York Penn Station is roughly an hour. You can see visuals of homes, streets, bridges and trains across the track. I was gazing outside as the train sped by. And now over to New York Penn Station. now i got down at the new york penn station here uh, and now what i'm going to do is uh, i'll have to take the subway uh, so guys i asked the uh, the guy at the tourist information center so this is the 34th street uh, what he tells me is i can take a subway from here to the 59th street and uh, there uh, i mean central park is just very close by uh, so what he also did is he gave me a city map right which i can use to uh plan and see where i need to go next so that's something very interesting um now in the penn station can you see the christmas celebrations have already started uh this is a, a miniature version of the snow uh and yeah the christmas celebrations have already started here it was as simple as just tapping my card there and i could enter now you see this this is where we want to go right so we are at the 34th penn station and we are going to go all the way to 59 st columbus circle right so it says uh, next train to van cortland and that's coming in 1 uh, it's coming in 2 minutes so let's go number 1 and this is to uptown The subway is New York's lifeline and the system has operated 24 cross 7 service every day of the year throughout most of its history barring emergencies and disasters. The New York City subway is one of the world's oldest public transport system, one of the most used and one with the most stations with 472 stations in operation. 472 stations is definitely a wonder. Then guys, here we have reached the 59th Street, which is the Columbus Circle. Uh, 
so you can see this here this is the exit and it's a central park so our first destination for today is going to be central park and let's go there So that's the entrance to the Central Park. Now, why Central Park? I think this is one of the most famous public park in New York. So whoever comes to New York doesn't definitely miss the Central Park here. And look at the kind of tall buildings we have here. That's the real look and feel of New York. I think Central Park in the winters and Central Park in the summer might look very different. Uh, today, if you see, uh, it's not very green. That's because of the winter season here. And uh, um, all the trees doesn't have any leaves. So what I think is probably the Central Park that you see now and the Central Park that you might see in the summers could be very, very different. Um, one reference... Uh, uh, because I am a big SRK fan, so if you have seen the movie Kal Ho Na Ho, uh, the song Kal Ho Na Ho uh, was shot in uh, Central Park. So that's kind of a reference that I have uh, for visiting this place. I can see a lot of families uh, playing around, a lot of kids playing around. Uh, it's a Friday afternoon, so still a weekday. So you wouldn't find too much crowd here, but still a sizable amount of crowd can be seen. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk around, see if there are any different landscapes and then uh, we'll move to the next place. Central Park was the first public landscape park in all of the US. The park takes up roughly 843 acres of land, which is roughly 16 billion New York apartments. It is even bigger than the tiny European country of Monaco, which only covers 500 acres. Since 1908, the Central Park has appeared in over 240 feature films, thereby making it the most filmed public park in the world. An estimated 42 million visitors make their way to the park every year, making it one of the most visited tourist attractions in the world. Of these 42 million people, only about 14% are first-time visitors. In fact, around 70% of Central Park's visitors are local New Yorkers who come to the park on a regular basis to escape the clamor of the big city. It's a lovely place for walking, running or relaxing in. Planning for the park was approved in 1853, making Central Park the first major landscape urban park in the United States. It was modeled on designs of cities like Paris and London, which had plenty of green spaces where wealthy residents could take a walk and show off to their neighbors. One of the most interesting facts about Central Park is that although it might look natural, almost all of the rolling slopes and valleys has been created from the scratch. Central Park is an entirely landscape space, meaning that all of the hills, woodlands, lakes, and other natural features are entirely man-made. A total of 11 overpasses were built over transverse roads and 5 lakh trees, shrubs and vines were planted. The Central Park Conservancy, a non-profit group dedicated to upkeep the park, spends about $78 million each year on park maintenance. Beyond the running and walking paths, the park maintains 26 baseball fields, 12 tennis courts, 6 soccer fields, 4 volleyball courts, multiple basketball courts, skating rinks and a plenty of workout areas. That was the ice skating rink at uh, Central Park. You can see so many people trying out there. 
so I think at one point of time they were leaving close to 100, 150 people inside. Uh, so people just were having fun. You could f see a lot of people even falling down, but still uh, getting up and then trying again. Some of them, I think, probably are trying for the first time. Uh, so it seems to be very interesting. Uh, there are a lot of people who have come here, uh, and there are, there are again a few people who are standing in the queue. So as I walk out of uh, the Central Park, um, I just want to show you the streets of New York. And here we come to the world famous Apple 5th Avenue store in New York. If you have seen Apple phone releases, then this is the most important store. Generally, you can see Tim Cook opening the door whenever an iPhone releases. The store is one of the most photographed landmark in New York City. The store is considered one of the several Apple's flagship locations and the preeminent store for Apple in New York City. The store is on and beneath a public plaza by the General Motors built in 1968. The store has a glass cube and as its entranceway measuring 32 feet on each side with a suspended Apple logo inside. The cube was designed to motivate people to enter the store, creating a ceremony of descent and a great entrance rather than put people off entering the basement store. Here is the staircase, the grand ceremony of descent to the Apple store. Look at how well designed the store is, looks out of the world. At first opening, the interior was organized around different uses of Apple's technology with areas themed for creating podcasts and blogs, editing digital media and organizing music. As you enter the store, you are first greeted by an Apple employee who welcomes you and then asks you if he can help you in any way. The store predominantly has one large loom lined with display shelving. The space also features wooden tables and matching storage units. The tables are double the length of standard Apple Store tables, the second store to include them. The store has two rows of trees. The tree circular planters function as benches upholstered by caramel colored fabric atop a white base. The store operates with about 900 employees. Most of them are bilingual and team collectively speaks about 36 languages. The store originally had 300 employees with 5000 initial applications. At its opening, about half were assigned to provide free assistance on using Apple's products. All of the staffs were salaried with no sales commission. The store is always open to customers with no hours or days closed, an acknowledgement of New York's late night street life in place since its opening. It is the only Apple store that is open 24 cross 7. After having spent some time at the Apple store and getting to look at the design and the inventory in place, I started to walk to the other iconic places in New York. But if you are looking for an Apple product or just want to explore this place, don't miss it out when you visit New York. This. I think now we'll go to the Metropolitan Museum. Uh, 
which is I think few miles away. And it should be a good walk for us yeah. to go to there. So guys, here we are at the Metropolitan Museum. You can see the staircase the, uh, and the museum entrance. I kind of see that there is a long queue, so I'm just thinking twice if I should enter only because I'll have to explore other places as well. Uh, so I think if I spend too much time here, I might miss out on other places. But let me tell you what the uh, history of this museum is. The Metropolitan Museum of Art, colloquially referred to as the Met, is an art museum. It is the largest art museum in the Americas and the fourth largest in the world. Founded in the year 1870, the Metropolitan Museum of Art is a living legend as it contains a wide range of artwork, brilliant enough to fascinate every human being. It is a place where art goes live every day in one or the other form. The museum is home to classical antique things, ancient Egyptian paintings and sculptures and the modern art. The founders opened it with an idea to inculcate an interest in art among the American masses. The Met has a lot of amazing things associated with it. The museum's collection includes about 5000 instruments and most amazing out of them is the world's oldest surviving piano. This antique piano dates back to 1720 and was created by Sir Bartolomeo, an Italian man. Today, this museum is home to more than 2000 great European paintings that date back from the 12th century. It beautifully displays over 5000 years of art from around the corners of the world for everyone to experience and indulge. As of 2022, the museum welcomed 32 lakh visitors, making it the third most visited museum in the United States and the eighth most visited art museum in the world. The Met, which opened its door on April 13, 1870, was founded by a group of businessmen, financiers, artists and cultural enthusiasts. The museum's permanent collection consists of works of art ranging from the ancient Near East and ancient Egyptian, extensive holdings of the African, Asian, Oceanian and Islamic art. So guys, I'm just outside the Metropolitan Museum. Now, if I need to really uh, justify uh, the visit then i'll have to at least spend two to three hours inside because this is going to be huge uh, but because i have just this day to explore new york uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip the uh, the interior versions of this uh, museum so it's already 1 pm right now and uh, i want to explore the other parts of the city before we go back to new jersey but uh, remember that uh, this uh, episode of uh, us and new york is going to continue for a uh, few more weeks um, but I am going to end this video today here uh, but remember that uh, the next edition is where we are going to explore the rest of the city so uh, do follow my channel and please do subscribe if you like my video please do share it with your friends and relatives and also hit the bell icon to be notified on the next video I have a lot more interesting videos coming up till the next edition signing off Nishant